Mr. Mayor, <coughs> it gives me great pleasure to second the leader's motion. To be honest, Mr. Mayor, I wasn't sure what the content of Paul's uh, speech was going to be because, quite frankly, sometimes he, he suggests something and catches me unaware. And I'm thinking to myself, two laps of a past, fast pursuit around a velodrome. I don't think I could really handle that. Um, but there we go, Mr. Mayor. Luckily, it, it, it hasn't resulted in that. Just really seconded the uh, motion. But Laura, I, I, I believe um, your success is actually sending out two powerful messages. And one, it's, it's not only the extra effort you have to put in, but also the need, that unity of family support around you to yeah. achieve your goal. And that, that that's four marks to your mum and dad and your sister and everybody else around you. That's what family units need <coughs> in today's modern life, I believe. And the second point is, I believe it's well documented that you are asthmatic, that you've shown other young people that it's, it's achievable, even with a, a, a health issue that you might have, with that extra effort, you can go through that pain barrier. So, Laura, thank you. Mr Mayor, I'm proud to uh, speak on this motion. The Olympic idea is to go faster, higher and stronger. We have here amongst us and our community someone who has done just that and more. We are here tonight to honour her achievements with more success I hope in years to come. But Laura did not wake up one morning and become a double European world record holder and a double Olympic record champion. It only became possible because of her talent, hard work, dedication and sacrifice with the team, as my colleague has already mentioned, around her, who supported and gave so much to encourage the dream. Her mum and dad, her family, friends, and of course her coaches. The most important thing in the Olympic Games is not to win, but to take part. Just as the most important thing in life is not to triumph, but to struggle. The essential thing is not to have conquered, but to have fought well. Laura is all that, and I have said more, and, I, and as I have said more, but what we saw at the London Games, and before that, was something extraordinary, something magic. And that magic translates into the end for motivation, an attitude of achievement that has left a legacy for the young and many others. She aspired to the summer. The G is for gumption, to reach further and go faster and stronger. And the I for I can and I will do approach. And of course, the C for commitment to excellence. In a hundred years, we shall still talk about Laura Trott and the greatness that she has achieved. We ask ourselves, what can we do by Laura to say thank you for the effort Daniel and sacrifice made? Well, that in part is be answered by the overwhelming support of so many people across the country and world in celebration of her success. But from us to you, the freedom of the borough <coughs> is a fitting tri tribute by the people of the borough. You will live long in the hearts and minds of our people. Well done. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Well, I think it was truly marvellous that having won one gold medal, you actually took time out to remind the world mm. that though you were born at uh, Princess right. Mary Alexandra Hospital Harlow, you are in fact a Chester girl. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and if you are, to, and, you, and your gold pillar box should actually be in Chester. It's also good that when you was asked about what you was looking forward to with London 2012, you didn't only mention your own sport, you also mentioned the competitors at our own Olympic venue in Waltham Cross, which you referred to as your backyard. And I have to say, uh, we mustn't forget that that Olympic course is actually in Waltham Cross, though I often get to refer to as the Lee Valley, which it is, but it's, it's, it's actually in Waltham Cross. So well done. Good luck for the future and hope you uh, do extremely well when Glasgow hosts the Commonwealth Games in 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Any other speakers? Um, I'd, I'd like to speak you not, to you not only as a uh, for a counsellor but also as a teacher. Pardon me. Um, sometimes it takes me six years to inspire a child. You did it in three minutes and 14 seconds. Congratulations and thank you.
there. Well done, Laura. You've uh, you've won the whole leg. In under four years' time, you've got a much more difficult task. You've got to win the away leg. We'll all be rooting for you. Thanks for James. I believe we have another cyclist in the room. So to keep Laura company in one park, we would like to give Emma a gold card also. Oh, yeah. Yeah. sister is the way she looked after your interest after you became major news after you won your because <laughs> I actually went uh, around to your house with a letter to invite you to become perhaps a freedom of the borough and she was there with her boyfriend outside and I said oh you remember the fan and she said no and walked off <laughs> and started talking to and totally ignored me <laughs> I don't have many people we can know of you, but I congratulate her for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Leader. Um, just to sum up, uh, Mr. Mayor, um, well, first of all, I'd say that Emma's a good judge of character. She's got a couple of strange men which think I'm not going to change it. I'll do exactly the same. No, just picking up on the point that the Deputy Leader just made, uh, Councillor Hannon, was I think I know we were talking about celebrating the success of Laura's life. It's equally important that we look what's behind Laura, and in fact, you know, behind every great athlete, person, individual, is a strong family unit, and I think mum and dad should be immensely proud, so well done mum and dad, and we shouldn't let the evening go without mentioning Emma, we have another great cyclist in the room, who has well done cyclists, so again, we should celebrate that fact, that there are two great cyclists in the room, so well done to everybody, and you know, hopefully we'll have an enjoyable evening upstairs, thank you. The motion is to confer the title of Honorary Freeman of the Borough on Miss Laura Trump. Those in favour? <laughs> Unanimous. Thank you very much. Laura, would you like to say a few words? Uh, could you sp switch on your mic? It's the black. And you can stand up if you want. Sit down. You're the Freeman, I can't ask you. <laughs> Members of council, guests and friends, first of all I'd just like to say a massive thank you for um, granting me the Freeman of the Borough, obviously if possible. <laughs> um, like, I couldn't be here if it wasn't for like, my friends and family helping me and supporting me all the way. And it's just a massive honour for me to be a part of this borough and for everyone in the borough supporting me as well. So, obviously it is my close friends and, friends and family that help me most of the time. But, to have the support of you guys as well, it's just been incredible and the summer for me has just been absolutely amazing and obviously what I've done now, I'm hoping it can inspire the rest of the borough and like the children of the borough especially because like I looked up to older people when I was younger so we'll see if I can inspire as many people as possible, that would be great. <laughs> um, and so yeah, it's just been just been really enjoyable and I'm just glad that I could put Chesham on the map because